Coder.com with another Gravity Forms tutorial. This time we'll be talking about notifications. Uh, Gravity Forms recently changed uh, the way they did do notifications just slightly. So for those of you who are not familiar with it at all, or maybe those of you who were familiar but are a little confused now, um, let's go over it. So you'll see I'm in my dashboard under Forms, which is Gravity Forms, and then Forms. And here's the forms I have. Uh, we'll work with this sample form. One way you can do it is right from this menu. You'll see under Settings now that Notifications is right here. So we can access it that way, or we can do it by going into the actual form itself. Say you're uh, editing the form and you want to go ahead and set up the notifications, you can do it this way too. Again, it's just under Form Settings and just drop down to Notifications. Before I click that button and we talk about that specifically, uh, I just want you to know that this sample form, I have only set up name and email. So those are going to be the options we have with the notifications. So let's go on to notifications and you'll see that the admin notification is set up by default. So anytime that somebody submits a form, it's automatically going to email the person in the settings, WordPress settings, who's set up as the admin. So that's already there. Um, you have the option of deleting that if you get too many submissions and you don't want that to happen. Um, but maybe you want a uh, like an autoresponder, so anytime somebody uh, submits a form, they can get an email confirmation to let them know that you did receive their form. So in that case, we're going to go to Add New, and then it'll give you several different options. So you'll just type in their name here, uh, whatever that you want that to be. And then send to, here's where you decide who you want this email to go to. So let's say in this instance, we want it to go to the person who filled out the form. So instead of entering a particular email, like I might if I wanted to do an admin notification or notify somebody in particular, I'm going to do select a field and then it's going to give me a drop down selection and email. That's the email that's in that form that you just saw a minute ago. So I can select that and that will send a autoresponder to that person. So um, again, you're going to put the from name. Usually it's going to be, um, say, WP Decoder or whoever you want it to be from. But you also have this option over here, another little drop down. So um, you can have the name. Remember, we got the name first and last from our form, and we also got the email. And then here's some things that uh, Gravity Forms uh, picks up automatically, even if they're not in the form. Their IP address, the date, etc., etc. So you have the options of using these too, which is really nice. Um, reply to, you know, you want to make sure you're replying to the correct email address. And so again, just go ahead and fill out all this information, the subject, uh, thank you for sub submitting a form, um, then your message would we'll go right there. And finally at the end, um, you can do save notification and that'll have it all set up. One of my favorite things about Gravity Forms, though, is the conditional logic. So let's take a look at conditional logic here. When you do this, it gives you the option of sending the form to different people depending on the answers in the form. So let's say you have one standard contact form, but maybe one person is interested in contacting you about a job and another one is interested in contacting you about a product. So you would just go down and select <clears throat> um, your question from the form. Uh, so, of course, this one I only have email because that's all I was asking. But let's say I ask, um, maybe the question was reason for contact. And you would say, if the reason for contact is, is not, is, you know, whatever you want. Uh, again, just that. And then, um, let's say if it was for a product, then the email, oh, sorry, spelled that a little wrong. Um, if it's for a product, then you can um, send the notification to a specific person. So, um, and of course, all or any. Um, this is also available 
um, up here you send to you know a certain person um, and configure routing so you can send to uh, the accounting oh, sorry accounting at wherever if the email is about um, you know, billing or something like that. So lots of great options with Gravity Forms. Um, I hope this has answered any questions you have, and I hope you will check out wpdecoder.com for more tutorials on Gravity Forms. Thank you.